Hello, I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. This one here is flying pretty nice. This is the one that we wound up making for Doug, the old man. And basically his son said to take it down. Anyway, we took it down. And it's over here for a while. We get to make some tests on this. I had been waiting for this for a while. Anyway, she's flying up there nice. I made the tail nice and long. It kind of keeps it more steady in the wind. And I do have it off access more than four inches, so it's kind of out there close to about eight inches on the side. Plus, it's extra long in the front, so it wants to furl early. So the longer tail helped that out. We found a better ceiling fan. This is a Harbor Breeze. And instead of like the other two, it said one amp, which I thought I could get two amp out of it, seeing as we have one set of coils and another set of coils. Basically all together, all I've seen was about one amp and a little more. This one is from Harbor Breeze. It says 3.3 amps. Well, I couldn't help but taking the, where the wires come in here, running it, come through here. I've already pulled it from the other side on out. And... This is the inside of the coil and the outside of the coil. This is the inside of the coil and the outside of the coil, which I have wired over here. I went halfway across and found where the wire crosses over from the outside of this coil to the inside of this coil over here. I took one wrap off and I wound up connecting here and here. And the same thing with these two on this set of coils. I wind up wiring them over here. Now when you get done doing your wiring, just in case, you want to put two magnets on the outside of your shell. And see as these 16 coils, in other words, north will be here, and at the opposite side, north will be over here. So don't worry about it. Give it a spin. If you get a voltage, then you did it right. If you don't get any voltage, you either got your magnet reversed, or you didn't connect right. What we're trying to do is, say from here, run these coils all over here, run it back over here, and through these coils here and then back over here so basically I'm wind up making four sets of coils these two and these two it's kind of risky a little hard to do you don't want to break a wire off on the inside of one of these coils then you're in trouble so that's up to you whether you want to do so I wound up putting another tie wrap here super gluing these down here these here this is insulation off the outside of a wire which I stretched on the tapered in of a file and then stuck it on there and then super glued them in after I've soldered them and made all the wires connect. Okay, now seeing as it said 3.3 amps, well, I believe I could get 6.6 .6 amps. If it was the way I believed it was before, I'd have got about 13 amps, but eh, no. A little small there anyway. I might be able to get 6.6 .6 amps out. Anyway, I didn't quite have enough magnets, so what I have done is I've taken, there's a screw that, or a bolt that comes out right here. So this is my north, my south, my north, my south, my north. Instead of putting two, you know, lining them up like this and lining them up like this, having two, having four sets right here and then four sets here and four sets here. I didn't have quite enough magnets, but I wanted to put as much as I could. I'd already doubled them. Well, almost doubled again. Anyway, so north, south, north, south, north, south, north, south. Kind of labeled the t top of them with a little bit of color here. There's the north, the south, the north, the south, and the north. This is where the bolt hole is. Anyway, I'm getting anxious to put this together and see what I can do. Okay, the thing I'm worrying about is when I go to stick this inside here, it seems like I got so much magnet. These sit up over the top a little bit, so they're not, as you can see right here, they sit up a little over the top. I don't want this stator to come over to the side and yank that magnet off. This stator is much thicker than the old ones that I've been using on the other ceiling fans. The other ones used to be about like that. This has got that much more stator and quite a bit more wire. I'm real happy with it. When I go to put it in here, I don't want it to stick to the sides and start pulling magnets off, which I'm going to stick a lot of epoxy in here. Probably going to tape the 
top and then take a pair of a knife and just trim out the, the shape of the magnets and then go ahead and put the boxy all the way in. That way these magnets aren't going to move. I saw another guy using a uh, silicon seal. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to hold them, trust me. Anyway, so I stick my epoxy in and then I'll peel the, then I'll peel the uh, tape off the outside of these and that ought to leave these nice and clean. But I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick some cardboard around the outside, roll it around, and then I'm going to slide this in. I won't be sticking to my magnets and going in and I'll get it centered in and set up nice and level and straight. Alright, we're looking at about six, 600 milliamps there. That's a well over half an amp running in. There's 750. Let me turn this meter get a little bit better view for you. That'll probably work. There we are. <coughs> and the wind's dying down. There's eight, 800 milliamp. Almost got up here to a hundred milli, uh, to a thousand milliamp, which would be one amp. Almost. Just shot up here kind of quick. Anyway. In the meantime, I said I was going to... Okay, might not jump. Ah, oh, well. Yeah, it keeps going up and down. Anyway, I did the cardboard trick on this. And then I slid the outer cover on. And I kept wanting to put a gap here, so I realized that ah, the bearing wasn't down. So I tapped on the outside here and got it down. We're all set up. I'll do some tests with that in a minute. Well, the wind's giving a, quite a battle out there. There's 800 milliamps, 700 something. There's some good wind. I saw 830. That's yeah, right about 25, uh, 250 milliamps there. It drained it down, slowed it down. The wind isn't going very much right now. I'll give you a shot outside. There's the trees. They aren't really doing much right now. I was hoping to catch it while it was all blowing real good. But anyway. Another little shot of her. Wait, it slows her back down. There you go. We're staying right at 200 milliamp. Let's let it off and let it speed up a bit. Maybe I'll get a big juice out of it. Nah, eh. 180. And it's holding, but eh, it's starting to drop. There we go. There's 200. There's about 230 milliamp. That's straight into it, and it's taking whatever voltage it needs, so. I'm going to get a straight voltage read and see what it's doing in the lower winds here. Right there we are with some open voltage, waiting for the wind to pick up a little bit. Doing about 55, 58, 70. I should get well over 100 <laughs> on a good gust. I think I need to lengthen my tail just a little bit. There's 90. Ooh, almost 100 there. And the wind isn't really doing much. Look at the trees. They're just kind of sitting there. Not doing a doggone thing. But you notice when I was on the battery at 24 volts, just still kicking some milliamps in there. And the harder the wind blew, the higher the milliamps went. And got up close to an amp. So we're doing, you know, the batteries will regulate it down. Now if I had more batteries in series, I'd still put out pretty much the same amount of amps. But I'd be collecting more wattage. And wattage is the work. That's what you pay for from the power company. It's kilowatt hours, not kiloamp hours.